At the Idaho State Board of Education, we know how complicated and daunting applying for college can be for students and their families. We're breaking down barriers so our kids can choose the future they want. You are key to helping them get where they want to be. To make going on easier for students, we worked closely with Idaho's public colleges and universities to launch the Direct Admissions Initiative. Each fall, all seniors at Idaho's public and charter high schools receive a letter notifying them of their acceptance into these institutions. Students are still required to complete high school and submit applications to the institutions they are interested in attending. And we launched Apply Idaho, an online college application exclusively for Idaho high school students. Students can submit applications to one or more of Idaho's colleges or universities at one time and without having to pay any application fees. Using basic contact information entered by the student and data tied to their EDUID number, like their high school name, dual credits earned, ACT and SAT scores, the system will send completed applications to each college or university the student selects. There are just four things a student will need. Number one, they'll need to provide their legal name. Number two, they'll need to provide their birth date. Number three, they'll need their EDUID number. This might be their student ID number. We're directing students to ask counselors or school registrars if they are unsure about their EDUID number. Number four, they'll need an email address that can be accessed after high school graduation. Students can log on to Apply Idaho from a mobile phone, tablet, laptop, or PC by visiting nextsteps.idaho.gov and clicking on Apply Idaho at the top of the homepage or under the Explore tab. To begin, they'll click on Get Started. Clicking here will pop up the box where they will create an account using an email address and a password of their choosing. It's important to use an email address the student can access after high school, since that will be where they'll receive the Apply Idaho verification email and communicate with colleges and universities. Encouraging students to write down the email address and password they use to register for Apply Idaho is a good idea. They can return later to finish applications if they don't complete the process on the first try. They can also return to send applications to additional colleges and universities after submitting for the first time. If a student forgets their password, there is a forget password function on the site. Once the student submits their registration, they'll receive a verification email at the address provided and will need to click the link to complete the process. They must verify their account before they're able to submit an application. Next, they'll answer a few questions in step one. Students can elect to receive text messages from colleges and universities to help them stay on track. And then they'll be directed to add their address in step two. Students should use their preferred mailing address so colleges and universities can reach them with acceptance letters and enrollment information. At this point, they're already halfway done applying to college. Step three is where students enter information about when they'll graduate, where they want to apply, and what they'd like to study. Students can begin typing the name of their high school in the search field, or use the arrow for a drop-down menu of all participating schools. They will need to indicate their high school graduation date and when they plan to start college. They'll also need to select at least one major at a college of their choice. Students can apply to just one school, more than one, or even all of them. First, they'll use the check boxes to select which institutions they're interested in attending. Once they've selected a school, they can type a search term into the intended majors box or type undecided. Students need to select a major at each college they want to apply to. If they don't know, assure them there's nothing to worry about at this point. They can simply select Undecided in the Majors list. Once they've added each school where they want to apply, click Next and they're nearly done. If there is any required information missing, students will see where they need to return to add additional details. The final screen asks a number of questions based on where students are applying. The answers to these questions help colleges determine scholarships students qualify for. While they are optional, we encourage applicants to respond so they're considered for all possible financial assistance and colleges can best understand and serve each student. 
Even if a student doesn't choose to answer the additional questions, their application has been submitted at this point. This is a good place to remind students that this won't be the only opportunity to apply for and get money to pay for college. Don't forget, too, that students must fill out the FAFSA for financial aid opportunities before June 30th, the year they plan to attend school. There's more information on the FAFSA and paying for college on the Next Steps website. They can find this at nextsteps.idaho.gov in the Paying for School resources under the Explore tab. We're always updating this, so it's important for them to check back more than once or twice a year. The whole process will likely take just about as much time as it took you to watch this video, and that's the goal. If you or your students have questions, there's a robust FAQ page you can refer to along the way. We appreciate all you do to help your students take the next step.